we break Drake's song's chords down into three categories. We have simple chords Drake, complex chords Drake, and Let's start with Simple Drake. Examples of this include songs like Not You Too, Redemption, Fire and Desire, Teenage Fever, Do Not Disturb, Jaded, basically most of them. Now I'll explain what these numbers mean in a minute, but most of the songs in this category use a form of these progressions. So we got 4, 3, 6, 2, 3, 6, 4, 5, 6, 6, 5, 4, 4, 3, so on and so forth, and you can see them all there. Basically, they rarely hit the one, and sometimes they won't even hit the six either, which is the minor one. This isn't to say they don't do that, it's just not as common in these sorts of progressions. Let's take a look at the MIDI for Not You 2 to start. Now, as I said, I would explain the numbers. So this progression is a two to six. What this means is because we're in the key of C major, we're going from the two chord in the root to the six chord, A. So if we count up from C here, we go up one in the scale, then we have the two chord, three, four, five, six, A. So this is a two to six. If you were thinking in terms of the relative minor, because A minor is the same as C major, you would just go from A minor here, which would be the one, and then you got one, two, three. So this is the fourth chord in the scale. So this would be a four to one, if you're thinking that term. So almost all of the songs in this style are gonna be using seventh chords. In My Feelings is a Drake one that doesn't. Here we've got a D minor seven. As you can see, we've got a D minor chord here. And then if you just go two notes below the root, that would always give you a minor seventh and we've just dropped the root down one octave. Then we've just inverted that, put the C on top, and then we're just playing a standard A minor nine here. Now let's look at the MIDI for Do Not Disturb. This is a four, three, six progression. And finally in this category, Come and See Me, which is a three, two progression. Now this song again is super simple and we're again in the key of A minor. So we're going from the three chord to the two chord. And this is kind of rare in this style. Usually you'd start on either the four chord, uh, the two chord or the six chord. But in this song, they start on the three and sometimes you can start on the three chord and it will give you a kind of a bit more of a suspenseful feeling, which is something we'll get into later when we start using the three chord in our own progression. So here you can see we've got an E minor seven, just going to a D minor nine. So E, then we have the minor third, perfect fifth, and the minor seven, as explained before, two notes below the root will give you the minor seventh. So triad and the minor seventh. And then here, same thing, triad, the minor seventh, two notes below the root, and the nine is always two notes above your root. Now specifically with this song and a lot of modern R&B, it's characterized by the ambiguity between the major and the minor one. So because we're just going from the three to the two, you don't really know where you are. You're never going home and the song is constantly in this floating point and never resolving to where you want it to. Now let's quickly build our own progression in this style. What you can do sometimes, especially if you've got beat block, it's good to set limitations on yourself so you can say, I'm gonna use these numbers. So I've decided I'm gonna do a six, two progression. So if we're in C major, we know from earlier that the six chord, one, two, three, four, five, six is A. So here we can build an A minor seven, go to our third by going three notes up, go to our fifth by going seven notes up and then get our seven. And then I want to go to the uh, two chord. So we can take this to the D here because we're going two notes up from the root, which is C. And so I want to drop these uh, root notes down, both an octave. And then let's say I want to move this uh, top note down one and maybe actually even do kind of the same thing they did in the Come and See Me song where they inverted the chord after. So we can take this E and move it down here. And then we can put the G, which was our minor seven, but we're just gonna take it out and play it later on in the chord. And then we can put the C here as well. So let's play this through and see what we get. Now let's move on to complex chord straight. Songs in this category are songs like Look What You've Done, March 14th and a lot of Drake outros. Now I covered two of those songs more in depth in another video that I've got on screen now, but for now let's just quickly take a brief look at Pappy's Home. Now the original sample from this song is Montel Jordan's Daddy's Home. 
I know that I hurt you Now I won't go into too much detail with this progression because as I said in the other video, I broke down chords similar to this step by step, really methodically. At the basis of this progression, if we delete all of this and all of this, what we have now again is the same as not you two is a two chord going to the sixth chord. Now if we bring all that back in, these are all just passing chords to get between those. This section specifically here, we're going hitting the seven because the seventh, we've got C major, one note below, and we've got B, it's the last degree of the scale. So we have a seven, three to six. This is also known as a minor two, five, one. And then we pass through with more chords back here to get to our D minor nine. If you have no idea about what I was talking about and any of the things I just said, I strongly suggest you go and watch the other video I mentioned as uh, this progression uses similar chords, such as this chord here is an E7 sharp nine sharp five. We broke down how to build that chord in the other video. And if you want me to break this down in depth in another video, this whole progression, then let me know and I'll do that for you. Now, finally, let's move on to now in this section, what we're gonna do is we're gonna slightly change the simple chord progression we made earlier to add some form of tension somewhere. The most common place to see this in OVO style R&B is by using the three chord to pass to either the two chord, the four chord, or the six chord. And it's often used in a bridge to keep the song sounding fresh. Let's try this method out on our progression to see what it sounds like. Now let's use this to change our progression from a six to two, to a six to two, to three. So all we have to do is go to the end here find the third degree of our scale. So we're in C major, we go to C, up three, one, and then two. So here we're on the third degree of the scale, and then we build again our minor seven chord. So we go up three notes, then we go up seven notes from the root, and then two notes below the root to get our minor seven. And we can drop this bass an octave. And now we'll just start with this. I'll show you what we're gonna do to alter it. Now all we're gonna do is gonna, gonna raise the minor third here, which in this case is E because we're using the three chord to pass background to the six. So we're just gonna raise that note by one. And now we have a dominant chord. If you have a major third, which this is here, because if you look here, we have an E, a G sharp and a B. This is just an E major triad. If we drop this one, this is an E minor triad. Degrees of the chord that are giving the chord its quality are always the third and the seven. So if by raising this one note, we have a major third, but we still have a minor seven. When you have those two combined, it gives you a dominant seven chord. Now if we play our progression, this will give us some tension going back around to the A because this G sharp is not in the key of C major. Yeah, buddy. To see what this would sound like as a full sample, I've taken a vocal loop and a perk loop from the free elements of R&B kit that you can get in the description below and laid it on top. Before I play the final sample, if you want any of the sounds used in this video, you can get them all in the description below till September the 14th for completely free. And this video is gonna be part of a series, so if you wanna see the next R&B chord artist breakdown, make sure to subscribe. to know how to use your own voice to make vocal samples, click this video here.